Regina or wherever you are. It is Nicole and I here today with Little Boyer. He just had to wear his Halloween costume because he can't come to the party tomorrow. Um, so he has this little cowboy on his hat and you have to check out our stories of Boyer running because the little cowboy goes and like he's saddling up and it is the cutest little thing ever. So go on our stories, check that out on Instagram and Facebook. So you guys, we have a lot that we're going to talk about today. We have a lot of upcoming events that are happening. Um, we're getting full fledged into the Christmas season, so we have lots of stuff for that happening. We're not going to share all yet, but we're going to get some to... of it's got to stay a secret. Yes, yeah. I know. We got to keep Santa's secrets just a little bit longer. That's right. Um, but yeah, other than that, we don't have anything huge to talk about. Just a little bit of some new products and some seasonal products. Um, but do you want to start with what's happening tomorrow? tomorrow. Yeah. We do have our notes because there's a lot happening yes. and it's a lot to remember and I want to make sure I give you the right information. So tomorrow, if you're here in Regina, Saskatchewan, you can have fun. Yes. Unfortunately, if you are not here, then that's sad because you're going to miss Dogtoberfest. Um, we're going to have a whole bunch of games here tomorrow. So from 11 to 6, our regular store hours, um, come, come by. We got barking happening. Come by, bring your dog. Bring your dog in a costume, because we're gonna be having games for the dogs. They can win treats. Um, so we have three different games that we're gonna have for the dogs. We're gonna have a game called Tic Tac Paw. There's gonna be a fun spider's lair. Um, and then there's gonna be a fun little corn maze for them. Um, we have a cool little reel uh, slash TikTok that we shared of how the dogs can play the game. So you could go check that one out for sure. Um, when they play the games, obviously there's going to be prizes, guys. We got to have prizes. Um, so there's going to be some treats for them to win. And we're also going to have a fun photo booth set up. So be sure to wear your costume. Like I said earlier, you can wear your costume. Costume, your dog can wear your costume, wear a costume, yeah. get a picture of the photo booth. We're gonna have an unofficial contest. Cost costume contest. Yeah, so lots of fun things happening. There's also gonna be a sale. Um, it's called our bones and body parts sale. So all of our wall of chews, there's gonna be some frozen bones on sale. Basically any bones and things that they can chew on. Yeah. We're gonna have buy three, get one free. So that's exciting and that's tomorrow only yes tomorrow only and it's all in store so yeah. the sale is not online you got to come to the store obviously the photo booth and all the games and stuff are going to be here in store at Regina Saskatchewan if you're close by yes. drive come see us <laughs> come for a little visit <laughs> our weather yeah. isn't that bad right now it's warming up I a mean, little bit I mean the snow's bit. melting exactly <laughs> it's always a good sign did we mention the pumpkin spice lattes. No, I did not mention that. So we yeah, are that's going, one of the other treats. Yes, we're going to be giving out pumpkin spice lattes for all of the pups so that when you come in with your warm drink, they will have a little theme drink for this season as well. But yeah, tomorrow is going to be an action packed day, but it's so exciting. I love Halloween here at the store because who doesn't love seeing dogs and cats come in and so somebody asked where are you located on TikTok? We're in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. So yeah. Other than that, we have some stuff for Christmas coming up and we've had some customers ask about it already as well. Um, but I thought that I would kind of go over some of the notes. Um, so for pre-sale starting November 1st, mark your calendars. Um, because gifts from Santa Paws are going live for pre-orders. Um, so if you guys don't know what those are, is we pretty much create a customizable, cri customizable Christmas gift um, for every single floof that gets ordered for. So we put a bunch of treats, we put a bunch of chews, we put um, some toys in there. Um, and that way on Christmas morning, everybody gets a surprise and you guys don't have to come out and pick all of the little things and wrap it up and act excited when they're unboxing it on Christmas morning. Um, the videos we see on Christmas Day, Boxing Day, New Year's, 
it is one of the best things I think I've ever seen. It, I love seeing the reactions of the dogs. We've even had people say that they've had to order another one because they forget that they can't put it under the Christmas tree because the dog will rip into it. Oh, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but yes, super, super cool. Gifts from Santa Paws are going live for pre-order on November 1st. We also are adding for pre-order this year as well our advent calendars. Um, so I know last year ours went really, really quick. We have a limited supply, so if the pre-order goes live, get it then. Yes. Don't wait. No. <laughs> Do not wait until um, the last minute. Yeah. Um, and I believe, so the advent calendar pickup um, it is the 24th. Yes. So the pickup for the gifts start October 24th on the advent calendars. So you need to place your order by the 23rd at the latest. That is the last day that you can order yeah, um, okay. for the advent calendars and the pre-order from the gifts from Santa Paws. The gifts from Santa Paws will still be going up until a couple days before Christmas, but pre-orders will end on the 23rd. Yeah. So that gives us a chance to wrap them all with love. Yes. So there's there's <laughs> lots of wrapping. If you already know, because then yeah, then you'll be able to pick it up nice and early, so you know you already have their gift and you don't have to worry about it. Um, like the week before Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna change that last statement. Gifts from Santa Claus order before the 30th. Pick up as soon as December 1st. Yeah. So the advent calendars, the 23rd is the last day to order. And there you go. See, Carly's already correcting me. <laughs> I was going too quick. <laughs> um, but yes, the advent calendars, you order by the latest of the 23rd, pick up the 24th. The gifts from Santa Paws for pre-order is the 20th, 30th. The 30th. The 30th. <laughs> and the pickup is the first. Too many dates, you guys. I am so sorry. Um, and then other than that, after Remembrance Day, we will have a whole bunch of other Christmas stuff, um, toys, stuff like that in the store, but that is not until after Remembrance Day. We're not going to give you an exact date yet, um, but keep an eye out for that because we have lots of really, really cool stuff coming. Um, and I think we have so many cute stuff, it's really hard not to buy all. Yes, and it's a lot more than we had last year. I will definitely say that in way cooler products, so stay tuned. Somebody asked again on TikTok, is this in Regina, Saskatchewan? Yes, we are. Yeah. We're just over near Chuka Boulevard, so come and say hi to us. <laughs> what are we, the east? Yeah, we're east south, end. Southeast? East? We're east end. <laughs> far east. east. <laughs> Super far east. Uh, yeah. Worth the drive if you're on the other side of Regina. Yes. For sure. <laughs> Other than that, you guys, we have to mention, so although Halloween is around the corner, we still have some super cool stuff in store. So I think I know we kind of mentioned these last week, but I just want to go over them once more again. So we have Chester's treats back in. We have their regular treats in Lion's Mane and a couple strawberry left as well. Um, Nicole's bringing those over. Super cool. Do you want to flip them around? Super colorful, natural, made in the United States. Super cool treats. Um, yes, Carly's saying as well, order everything November 1st for Christmas just to be on the safe side, and that is correct. Um, but we also have their cookies and cream topper. Um, but we wanted to bring in some little seasonal stuff for Halloween. Um, Nicole's showing you the cookies and cream. Super, super cool. So what we have here is we have three different traits types of treats. These treats are super cool because since they have all natural products, um, they are almost like a supplemental treat. Um, it's not going to be for any type of like um, chronic issues, but for maintenance and preventative, um, these are a really, really good option. So the ones that I have here are the Monster Greens, I have the Coconut, and I have the Halloween Mix as well. Um, the super greens is just a, like 12 different <laughs> blends of greens and fruits. So you can see they're super, super cool, super bright and naturally colored just from all the natural ingredients. So we have those ones. <laughs> we have the coconut as well. There's those ones. Super cool. And then the Halloween mix. This one is my favorite because you get three different kinds in there. So you get lavender, charcoal, and pumpkin just one of the coolest 
things ever, you guys. Super, super cool. And these all are natural as well. So once you open them, you just got to keep them in the fridge. Um, but other than that, they're super, super cool. And I forgot to mention that um, these all kind of have like stuff that they're good for. So the Halloween mix is good for a natural sedative because of the calming. Um, they are anti-inflammatory. They're an herbal, herbal muscle relaxant and they're good for upset tummies. The Monster Greens is good for muscle maintenance, digestive support, amino acids, and there's 25 different vitamins and minerals in these as well. And then last but not least, um, the coconut is really good for skin and coat because of the coconut oil. They're anti-inflammatory, rich in probiotics, and safe for the gut and healthy for the gut. So if you're interested in these, we only have a limited quantity left. Come and get them. Um, they are here in store. And if you guys are wondering, I want to get my hands on these, but I'm not in Regina. We can um, ship across Canada for a flat rate of $25. Um, other than that, if you're anywhere outside of that, we like to do kind of like a quote just to see what we can find or what works best for you guys and what works best for us with our local shipping companies. Because sometimes couriers are not um, very cheap, if you may say, for um, smaller businesses. So we want to try and find the best price possible. Um, but yeah, let us know if you're interested in these. They're super, super cool. Other than that today, what you see behind me, you may have seen these products before. Um, this is a brand that we have had in the past, um, but we just got them in again. <laughs> Um, we just got them in again not too long ago. We had them back when I started, which was almost two and a half years now. Um, and then Carly seen them at Super Zoo and was like, we have to get our hands back on these products because they're super, super cool. So we finally have all of the things here. Um, so the brand, you guys, is West Paw. They are super, super cool. Um, so we have some of their kind of like stuffy toys. And then we also have their topples as well. The topples are definitely one of my favorite things that we have in the store right now. Um, but the stuffies are also super, super cool as well because they look very unique. They're not like your traditional stuffed animal toy that you would see anywhere. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna start off. So there's these guys. All of these ones as well, all three of the different kinds of like stuffy toys we have in the lime the pink I believe it is and the lemon as well um, so these ones are called the Taylors they all have little names they're kind of these would be good for like a small to medium sized dog because they're not super big um, and they're not super heavy either um, they don't have any oh just kidding they do have squeakers in them and then these parts as well are also harder material um, it's almost like the same material that would be wrapped around of the topples, um, but it has a harder interior as well. So if you have chewers, these parts would be really, really good. Um, and I should mention as well, all of these products are completely safe. They're non-toxic. Um, they are made in the USA. Um, they really, really believe in playing safe and playing smart. So they really take care in um, what products they're using um, yeah yeah these are super cool so this is the lime and the tailor this is the pain super super cute and then this is the lemon as well so nice bright colors so if your dog loses toys very easily <laughs> these are really really good because they're nice and bright so you'll be able to see them wherever they are now, I would say these next ones could kind of be anywhere from like a medium to large-ish dog. Um, Boyer could definitely play with these, but they are just going to be a, bit, a little bit long. Um, and that's okay. Just kind of fair warning of that. Um, these ones are called the Darbies. These ones are super, super cute as well. So while the other one has the heart little bit almost... These ones don't. These ones are just strictly, they're kind of like, just like your stuffed toy kind of thing. Um, but I don't even think, like none of them have the padding on the inside. It's just all the fluff on the outside. Then there's a squeaker. It should be, this one just has one, but yeah. They're super, super cute. And they kind of come in like this like X design. So we have it in the lemon, 
We have it in the pink and we have it in the lime as well. So those are super cool. And then of the um, last kind, these ones are the Wilsons. I think these ones are one of my favorites because they're super, super cute. Um, and I know I say that about all of them, but they all are really, really cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, these ones are the Wilsons. So these are really good for that medium and upsized dog. Um, and they kind of, if they like to play tug of war, it has the two legs and they stretch where on the Wilson, the legs don't stretch very much. So these ones are really good for their, those tuggers, for those pullers. Um, these ones have the hard footed bottoms as well. Super, super hard. So if we have any big chewers in the house, these would be really, really cool. So we have it in the pink, we have it in the lime, and we have it in the lemon. Super, super cool. We love them. And we're super excited to finally have West Paw back in store. Last but not least, um, we also have their topples. Um, so like I mentioned, we used to have the topples um, and some of their products with the same material back when I started when we were newer to opening. Um, and then we just never reordered for whatever reason, it being space mostly. Um, but we brought them back in and we love them. So if your dog is um, a fast eater or you kind of want to challenge them mentally when they're eating or giving a treat or something like that, the topples are really, really cool. So as you can see, they have the little spaces in here. They do move, um, but they're not super, super stiff, but not super, super soft. Um, so you can kind of shove stuff in there. You can put their food in here. You can put dry, you can put wet, you can put fruits, veggies, plain Greek yogurt, um, organic peanut butter, like whatever works best for your pup and what your pup likes, you can put that stuff in here. And then there's also a little hole on the back as well. So if you want to stick a small bully stick in there, um, if you want to add a little bit of bone broth or goat's milk and freeze it, you can do that as well. Um, and these are also dishwasher safe which is a huge plus because it can be really, really hard to wash in there. Um, but yeah, so we have them in the smalls. We have them in the larges, so it gets quite a bit higher. And then we have them in the extra larges. So super, super cool. And these are also really good because you can put the smalls in the larges and make it an even harder challenge. Um, and they all are like the same design, so they all have the hole at the back. So even if you wanted to put one hole at the back, one hole at the front, you could stick a bully stick through. And it'll kind of go through this way. So just getting different ways to mentally stimulate them. Um, because as much as we can, especially in this cold weather, we want to have different ways that we are able to do so because otherwise they're just going to get super rambunctious and we still want to keep their brain young too. Um, so yeah, these are super, super cool. We only have them in the two colors. Um, we just have them in this like greenish yellow and then in this blue. But yeah, you guys, they're super, super cool. Does anybody have any questions about um, the topples, about Westpaw, about Chester's, about the events? I can stick on for a couple of minutes to answer any of those. Um, let me know if you are not in Regina how your weather is because I know this past week we got dumped with a whole bunch of snow. <laughs> it's already starting, um, but we've had a little bit of nicer weather, so it is slowing down and melting a little bit. Um, sorry guys, I'm just reading some stuff that's just coming through. Does anybody have any questions about this stuff? Super, super <laughs> cool. These are also similar. If you guys have seen us talk about, let me just grab them quick. About the Messy Mutts mushrooms. Um, these are very similar, just a little bit of a different material, different build on the inside. This one has the two layers where these just have the one. Um, I know Boyer has a topple and he loves it. Those are the West Paw ones. Oh, but I guess I forgot to mention um, how much food fits in each. So, 
In the smalls, you can fit um, one quarter of a cup, but Nicole says you can fit more. Um, you just gotta really, really pack it in. Um, so you can fit about a quarter cup in there. In the large, you can fit um, up to three quarters of a cup in there. And then, in the extra large, you can fit up to almost two cups. It says one and three quarters, but you might be able to even fit two cups in here. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of what size you would need for your pup. But yes, you guys, that is pretty much everything that we had on our list to talk to you about today. Um, this is going to be a very busy, fun, and eventful weekend here at House of Paws. If you're in Regina, come check us out. Um, we will have the photo booth set up on the door. Um, we will be having the pumpkin spice lattes. We will have the carnival games. Um, but yeah, you guys, I thank you for spending some of your Friday with me. And I hope you enjoyed this live. Um, we love going live for you guys. We love seeing the comments. We love answering the questions. Um, if you don't already, um, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Um, and before I forget, if you guys want to listen to anything that I have mentioned in the live again, um, we will be posting it. <laughs> See ya. Um, we will be posting everything that we just talked about. We'll be posting the live directly on YouTube. Nicole's back! <laughs> we have lots of customers. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we will be posting this live on YouTube right after it is done. Um, so you can hop on over there if you want to replay, screenshot, whatever you want to do. But yeah, thank you guys. And um, I hope everybody has a safe and happy and healthy Halloween. Um, we hope to see you tomorrow if you're in Regina, Saskatchewan. Yes, send us pictures of your floof in all of the costumes and trick-or-treating and all that kind of stuff. Um, and if you're in Regina, come show us the costumes. We'd love to see it. Other than that, thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.